Okay, so question 23, we're asked to translate the shape, that means move it by the vector negative 3, 2. Now remember the top number tells you to go right or left, and the bottom number tells you to go up or down. That's negative, so it's telling us 3 left, and 2 is telling us 2 up. Now there are two ways to do this. The first thing you could do is you could um, get your tracing paper out. Put your tracing paper over the shape, if you find this way easier. Trace the shape out, so let's trace it like that. And then what you do Okay, so we'd move it three left and two up. So watch one, two, three left and two up, one and two. And then you'd peel back your tracing paper, put a mark in there, a mark there, a mark there, a mark there. Get rid of your tracing paper. Okay, and then you just fill in the uh, sides as follows. So that would be your answer to that part. Now you could also check it, some people just prefer this method, pick a corner and move that corner three left and two up. One, two and three, one and two, that corner now becomes that corner and now you know the shape's two across, so you fill that in. You know you have to go one across three up, one across three up, so you fill that in and then you'd fill in the rest of the shape as well with your ruler, so that's another way of doing it. The next part, so let's have a look down here, we'll go down to this bit. We are asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps Q to R. Now, we're going from Q to R, from here to here. Now, you can see that the shape's turning on its side, so you're immediately thinking it's a rotation. That will get you one mark for saying rotation. Okay? Then, um, by how much? Well, you're, you're going anti-clockwise. Okay, and you're also going 90 degrees, so 90 degrees. And the last thing, you've got to state the centre of enlargement. Now you've got to try and find this using the tracing paper, using trial and error. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your tracing paper over your shape. And what you're going to do is trace out, trace out your shape as follows. And we're going to try and perform the rotation and see uh, where the centre is, okay? So we're going to try and perform the rotation. Now, assume to start with that the centre of rotation is at the, the, the middle, zero, zero. So put your pen down in the middle, hold it down and twist across. And when you do that, as if by magic, zero, zero turned out to be the exact right place. If it didn't, you'd try and hold your pen down somewhere else and do the twist. But in this case, zero, zero worked. So for your third and final mark, you stay at about, about center of rotation where you held your pen down here, zero, zero.